Hoima Regional Refer Hospital which serves Hoima, Chikube, Bulisa, Masindi, Chibale, Kiriandongo, Changkwanzi, among other districts, is the latest disconnection over unpaid bills casualty. Patients caretakers are purchasing water from vendors with a jerry can costing 1,000 shillings, whereas the hospital is relying on water from their reserve tanks in the midst of a high demand. I, as a parent of children with disabilities, when we bring our children for rehabilitation, the plaster they use to, to put on the legs or the arms on our children, they use water. Now we don't have water, so the doctors are there stranded also. According to Hoima Hospital administrators, the facility is financially constrained and does not have enough money to pay its water bills. To increase the budget for water to at least 50, 50 million per per quarter, I think I think it can address the the recurrent problem, but not the, not the the, the, the areas. Hoima city leaders say they have spoken to the authorities for a quick solution. We have already written to the Ministry of Health. We have already engaged the Ministry of Finance, but also the administration of this hospital to make sure that this issue is resolved. At Naguri Referral Hospital, the impact of the water disconnection is evident as the once busy maternity ward is now nearly empty due to the suspension of services. National Water and Storage Corporation disconnected the supply due to outstanding and paid bills amounting to 1.3 billion shillings. Delivery cases including caesarean sections are being referred to health facilities like Kawempe Referral Hospital. The hospital is still attending to antenatal visits and emergency cases. Surgical services have also been been suspended. The hospital is currently relying on three tanks. Each tank has a capacity of 10,000 liters. They spend 250,000 shillings to fill one tank every day. Switching off water is, the, I think, the most unfortunate thing you can do in a hospital. You literally will have closed all the other services. Uh, departments like, like uh, dialysis, where they are the people with kidney failure, they need a lot of water. Uh, in the theatre, all instruments, you need water to wash them. The repercussions of water crisis extend beyond the medical wards. Laundry services at Naguri Faro Hospital are now outsourced to other health facilities like Butabika. Some of the toilets are closed and the ones which are open are in a deplorable state. Ever since uh, I got scared, I've, no, uh, uh, I've not yet entered because it's very, very dirty, whereby you cannot even step. I have my friends around uh, here. I could just time myself, I go back there with my baby. Cleaners fetch water from the reserve tanks every day, a labor-intensive task. Some report fetching more than 15 jerry cans of water daily to clean various areas in the hospital. The, 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 the hospital is not clean as such, as we want it. It is not as the percentage we want because of water. Because we, the water we use, it is muddy. Entebbe Regional Refer Hospital mirrors the plight faced by its counterparts, Piles of unwashed linen serve as a grim reminder to the mounting challenges brought about by the water crisis. Of course, we had some linen that was cleaned uh, yesterday before the water went off. And uh, we have just a few things for emergency. And we hope to run on those emergency until the water is restored. Stakeholders are urging the Ministries of Health and Finance and the National Water and Storage Corporation to urgently address the matter. According to Uganda Medical Association, government should waive the water bills of health facilities. The Ministry of Health, National Water is a, a, an agency which is also a government agency. They can talk uh, at the leadership level, top leadership management, they can uh, make a plan of payment. The corporation says the accumulation of unpaid bills has significantly affected its cash flow and has negatively impacted public service delivery. Nobat Atkunda, NTV News.